Thanksgiving. Me and Daddy are gonna play foosball. Let's see who scores first. Who's on? You're red team and I'm blue team. I'm gonna win. Three, two, one, go! Oh, go, 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 go! Whoa, whoa, no! Whoa. Yeah! Go. One more time, rematch, rematch. All right, double or nothing, here we go. Welcome to Ryan's world. Ready, set, go! Oh, 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 Move it. No. Move it. Oh my god, Ryan's walking right ahead too. That's yes. my move, boy. Huh? Huh? Ah. Huh? 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 No! Oh. No! Yay! Yeah. Wanna learn how to make your own DIY foosball? Roll the glitch! Combo kick! Watch <laughs> out! A soccer ball? Where did this come from? Control of the ball again. Combo, don't you know you're not supposed to play soccer indoors? Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot today. <laughs> well, we could always make a foosball table, which is basically like playing soccer mm. on a tabletop. <gasps> I've got an idea! Yeah. Well, I guess we're on our own, so let's get started. <gasps> <sighs> We finally found a piece of cardboard big enough for our entire project. Now let's get started by drawing out our <gasps> field. Where did I put that marker? <sighs> so let's get started by drawing our field to our foosball table, which is just basically one big giant rectangle. Our side will be half the size of our length. Next up, we're going to draw our two walls and our four bumpers. Now we have all of our pieces drawn out. Next step is to cut them. And they'll look like this. Uh, but I need to glue them together and uh, I don't really have any glue. You got this, Bree! Oh! This is everything we need, especially the glue. So let's get started. So we are gonna start by gluing on our sidewalls. Now remember kids, when using things like hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. Now we have to make sure it's lined up nice and straight and that it dries perfectly straight. Now we're gonna put our second one in place. Once again, making sure it dries nice and straight. And one more corner. Ooh, careful. Just like that. Perfect. Next up, we're gonna make our players. <gasps> so the body of our player is going to be made by two trapezoids being glued to a rectangle. After we get those glued together, we're going to make our head by tracing two circles and cutting them out. Just like that. Next, we're going to use a half inch piece of cardboard and strip off one of the sides. This is going to allow for our cardboard to be nice and flexible, which will let us glue it in a circle and create our head pieces. Now we're gonna glue on the last piece of our head and bam, we have the head of our foosball player. Now it's time to glue them together and looking good. The final step to making our players is to paint them up to look like a team. And we need an opposing team too. So we have some leftover strips of cardboard. We're gonna build a base for our foosball table to sit on top of. But first, we gotta glue it all in place, nice and straight. <gasps> Off to a great start. <gasps> so we have our base all glued together. It's nice and sturdy. Now let's glue it onto our game board. We are going to be nice and careful with this hot glue. Now remember kids, when using things like hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. 
All right, now we gotta make sure we get it nice and center and nice and straight. <gasps> we'll only have a little bit of time to make adjustments, so <gasps> let's see. <gasps> that looks pretty good. Now we just wait for it to dry. Now we have our entire frame built and it's good and strong. The next step is going to be to punch out the holes where our dowels, where our dowels with our players are gonna go and to decorate our field. And when we're finished with it, it's gonna look something like this. <gasps> ah. The next step in our build is one of the most important parts, which is to build our goal and our net. I think it's gonna be a lot of work, so we better get to it. Of course! I can't get the high score if there aren't any goals! So first up, we're going to glue our side post onto our base. Once that's dry, we're going to use small strips of cardboard to block off the front and the back so that our ball doesn't fall out of our goal. Next up, we're going to work on our net. Now we are using teeny tiny dowels as our frame. This is going to be the base to build our net off of. Step one in building our net is going to be gluing strips of twine vertically down our frame. Now after we have these all glued in place, then we're going to weave them the other way in kind of a basket weave pattern. Weave, 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 weave your foosball net. So we just finished our net and it's time to glue it in place. Lots of glue, lots and lots and lots of glue. Ooh, oh no, oh no. Maybe too much glue, that's okay, that's okay. All right. There we go, everything looks lined up. Then we just wait for it to dry. So what we did for one side, we did for the other. Now the final step in our build is to put our players on the field using these dowels. So we have all of our players laid out on the field where they're going to be. We're gonna start with our goalie for the red team. Ta-da, ready to defend my goal. So we're going to take our rod and go through the holes, through our goalie, and back out the other side. Now we're gonna glue him in place so that he can swivel and protect the goal. Now that our goalie's in place, we're going to add the rest of our players. We are going to stagger them and offset them so that we have some good offense versus defense, team versus team, red versus blue. Who will win? So we just added little spacers on our players so that they don't bump against the wall. And we've added handles so that it's easier to play. And our very last thing to do is put a handle on our goalie. So we're gonna start with some corrugated cardboard and we're going to make our inside of our handle first. Hold it nice and tight until it dries. So now that that's dry, we're going to use another piece of corrugated cardboard, but this time we're gonna leave the ridges to the outside. So let's glue that in place. Lots of glue to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and gives us a good strong grip, just like that. And now we hold that in place until that dries. So our handles are all dry, which means our foosball table is done. The only thing left is the most important step, which is to test it out. Let's try. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. No, 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 oh no, oh no, oh yes. Oh no you don't, oh yes I do, oh no you don't. <gasps> Goal! Thank you for watching the video. Remember, always be happy and rise up. Bye! Bye. Three, two, one, go! I'm gonna go! I'm gonna win! Oh!